Welcome to the Showdown Podcast. Today is June 25th, 2019. Last night, one show in Evansville, Indiana, that made um, a lot of competitive storylines, both on the finals bubble and also at the top of the rankings, with Carolina Crown and the Boston Crusaders being in attendance. Tonight, we have one show once again. Tonight, Hamilton, Ohio, in the Cincinnati area. So I'll cover last night and take a look ahead to tonight plus more. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. So last night, um, the one show I was talking about is Drums on the Ohio in Evansville, Indiana. Lots of stuff to talk about here from top to bottom and everything in between. General effect, everybody... Holds their placement, yes. You cro uh, the Crossman Spirit tie in general effect overall, but everybody holds their placement. Visually, you have Boston jumping Carolina Crown by two tenths in visual proficiency, and then another two tenths in color guard. But because Crown uh, beat Boston by three tenths in visual analysis, Boston only wins visual by half of a tenth of a point. That's not where they can be. Boston has the capability to win a championship. Boston also has the capability to finish sixth. We won't know where they finish until Saturday, August 10th. I, I keep saying the same thing, whether it's about finals bubble or the champion. We won't know until the final, whatever it is. If it's semifinals where the finalists get decided, then it would be that. If it's finals where the champions decided, it'll be that. We have no idea where anybody's going to place. Um, Boston, they're going to need to start getting stuff together, though, because they're kind of struggling a little bit right now. They really need to, they really need to boost that, um, that performance up a little bit and um, boost the design a little bit in order to not fall any further. To look a little bit more here in visual, you see the Blue Stars, that 5 there in visual analysis, um, going from a 14-2 in proficiency to a 13-2 in visual analysis. Um, that number's very low, not where they would want to be. Crossman and Spirit jumping them there. And then you go over to Color Guard, and Spirit jumps the Crossman by 2 tenths. The big thing at this show, if there's one thing this show tells us, it's that Phantom Regiment is in some trouble because they have all sixes here in general effect and visual, and I'll get to music in a second. But having all sixes, that is not where you can be. I mean, look at these, look at the final scores. Crossman and Spirit, who, who maybe are 11th and 12th, maybe are 10th and 11th. I don't know, I don't know how they're going to factor in there. They're at 27-2 in general effect. Phantom is at a 26-4. That is eight tenths back. Go over to visual overall. Crossman 20.15. Spirit 20.05. Phantom 19.35. These are not numbers they can be putting up this, even I'm going to say this late into the season, even though it's extremely early. So just something we'll have to watch as the season goes on. So now jumping over here into music, I'm not going to talk a ton about those first two quarters, a pretty wide margin, six tenths separating Crown and Boston, and then um, overall total, 74.95 for Crown, 73.8 for Boston. Go down the third, Blue Stars, they finish with a 69.25, only 1.4 here in percussion, and it's not even the total, so they're fine in music. Crossman, a little bit of a struggle, and that's due to one of the three scores, and that's the percussion score. We saw this the night before in Zionsville. We see it again here. The 12-9 in percussion, throwing them down a sixth place here. Not where they'd want to be. Spirit, fifth in brass, and music's not looking to be their strong suit um, if these scores would continue in this way. Of course, this is their first show, so who knows. Six in content in brass is Six all across the board in analysis and then a six in content and percussion, which really is telling me, based on all of these, the content not is not necessarily up um, to the uh, marks of others or um, maybe where it should be. Phantom, they kind of take advantage of some of these others, except that music analysis score, that is kind of high. 
Um, so that's a little bit of a sign of something good. 13-6, that looks to be good for them. 13-4 percussion, they get fourth there, but overall music, they do jump spirit here. 2005 to a 19-6. And the music city down here at the bottom, I haven't talked much about them. Um, first show of the season, I said if they're at a 16, they're in really good shape. 58-8, not bad. An improvement from last year's first score. It'll be interesting to see how they climb up, and I'm excited to see them over the next week. I'll see them twice um, in person, so um, definitely looks to be in a uh, music city. They look to be in good shape so far. The world-class leaderboard for today, um, you see here, limited action tonight, as again, I'll get to in a minute, but Crown at 74.95. You think even if Vanguard has a show last night, only improved by six tenths, maybe a little bit more. So um, unless Crown score is heavily um, heavily inflated, they're in a really good place right now. So is the Blue Coats. Even though they're sixth on here, they they've not had a show since Saturday. They've only had two shows. And um, they'll return to action tonight in Hamilton, then tomorrow in Pittsburgh, their home show, then they go on Allentown on Friday night. Um, the Bluecoats, though, they look to be in a good place, even though that scores, what, three points back. A few days, um, few days have gone by. And still, they're just a little bit behind the Cavaliers, even though the Cavaliers had a show on Sunday. So, just some stuff to look for uh, there. The Mandarins and Cadets, I talked about this a little bit yesterday, they had, they both had a show on Sunday. I don't know if the Mandarins score may be a little bit inflated, but still. The Blue Stars also, this one's, um, I, I think if you're them, I want to pass the Cadet score from Sunday night last night, and they got pretty close to it. Um, go down to the bubble, and you gotta throw Blue Knights in here. I don't think anybody on the outside right now, um, except Possibly, almost, maybe the Academy are um, close. I think Colts, Troopers, Madison, the rest of these guys, except for the Blue Knights that have not had a show yet, are not um, not right there where they need to be to make finals. So I think you throw Blue Knights in there, and it's really Spirit versus Phantom for a final spot, and maybe Spirit passing Crossman for 10th, who knows, at this point. Tonight, one show, we've got the Summer Music Games in Cincinnati and Hamilton, Ohio. This one gets underway at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. First score takes the field 7.15 with Cincinnati Tradition, all-age class. Then five world-class scores and attendance starting off with the Madison Scouts a little after 7.30. 7.51, the Colts take the field 8.09. There's an intermission for about 20 minutes. Right at 8.30, Spirit will take the field, 8.47, the Cadets, and then 9.05, the Bluecoats. What to watch for here? We know the order. Um, we don't know the margins or anything. We know Bluecoats will be first. We know Cadets will be second, Spirit third, Colts fourth, Madison fifth. What to uh, look for here, especially when you look at captions and stuff, is can Spirit pull close to the Cadets in visual? We've seen the cadets struggle a little bit, especially in color guard and some other things. Can Spirit maybe pull up a little there? How far ahead is Spirit from Colts and Madison? And I don't think that says too much about Spirit, but I think it says more about the Colts. Because if the Colts still want to make finals, they're going to have to pull close to Spirit at this show. I'm going to say less than two points. If they're more than two points away... I don't see them making that up over the next um, next few weeks. And then um, Blue Coats, a uh, big thing to look for here. Can they break 75? Their last score was a, a little below a 72. Can they exceed? Um, can they exceed that mark? Obviously, they will. But how far? How high can they get? Can they pass Crown score from last night? And then the Cadets, as I said, um, if they can. If they can hit 70 tonight, that's a good night for them. Or even, yeah, I'd say 70. I think they're going to hit because they were a 69-3. I think they can definitely get to a 70, especially seeing the progress they made from Thursday to Sunday. They'll definitely be in good shape today. 
So for this show, it's at Virgil M. Schwarm Stadium in Hamilton, Ohio. Weather for this one looks awesome. Last night in Evansville, there was a brief rain delay after Music City, and then they had to um, dry everything off and regroup, and they got the show done, though. Canceled intermission. I'm pretty sure they did. Um, But tonight doesn't look like that'll be a worry. Mostly sunny skies for the whole show going from about 80 down to the lower 70s by the time the show is over. So my new uh, segment here on the podcast for the last few days has been the question of the day, and today's question of the day is, will Phantom Regiment make finals this season? Still very early. I might bring this question back in a month from now. This might be the question on July 25th as well, and maybe even, like, August 3rd. Who knows? Um, But are they in a position right now to make finals? No. Can they get in a position to make finals? Yes. Very easily so. Um, They are, you think, the Blue Knights, they're, if you throw the Blue Knights in their Phantoms in 13th, can they clean and can they make changes to that show that maybe Spirit can or maybe the Crossman can't? We'll have to wait and see. Leave your response to the question in the comment section below here on YouTube or tag me on Twitter at TrumpQuirGeek. I'd love to hear what my viewers think about um, really the hottest question in in Drumcore right now, and that is, will Santa make finals? So, just a few things before I wrap up today. First, make sure to visit my website, drumcorecentral.weebly.com, for all the latest updates from the DCI and DCA summer tours, scores, schedules, leaderboards, and more can all be found at my own personal website about all things drum corps. Make sure to follow me on um, numerous different social media platforms. I've added a Facebook page to this, Drum Corps Geek, and also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Drum Corps Geek. And subscribe to the Show Day podcast on YouTube, where this uh, podcast and more will be posted. And if you would like the podcast to be delivered to your inbox, please email me or um, leave your email address in the comments or whatever. Um, if you're going to email me, drumcoregeek at gmail.com is the email address. Just the most possible ways for viewers to um, to get the podcast and listen, the better, obviously. And also, please leave your thoughts in the comments section, questions, input, comments, etc. I would be happy to reply back and maybe tell you my opinion about something, or if you have a question, answer. So thanks for watching today. Another great show tonight in Hamilton. I'll be back tomorrow analyzing that and also taking a look ahead to the Pittsburgh Innovations and Brass Shows tomorrow night. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.